I've got to say, the single biggest feature of Adobe Muse 7.0, which came out earlier today, is the new persistent library panel, uh, which you may or may not have played with yet. But uh, essentially what they've done is they've created us created for us a place where we can save elements of our websites to be able to reuse over and over again. We can use it for things like buttons and we can use it for things like forms. Uh, if you use the same composition over and over again but you tend to reformat certain aspects of it like slideshows or light boxes or something like that, you can customize them and you can save them for yourself. So you can drop them into other pages of other websites. Uh, and and save a lot of time for yourself. So like right here, I've got this composition where uh, I've created a form and I've created a text box and I've created a button and uh, they're all they're all in a group. I've grouped them together, which you don't necessarily have to do, but I'd like them to move around as a group. And now that I've done that, I can go over and I can open up my library panel if I don't have it open already. And there's this little sticky note looking thing where I can click to save what I have selected on my canvas and it gets saved over here to the library and I can call this whatever I want and I will name it minty form and it puts it into a folder which I can name forms so that way I can put all my forms in there and now in the future if I'm working on another page or if I've got just a blank page here uh, I can drag minty form onto the page and boom there it is there there's the entire group and then the other cool thing is I can export this I can bring it from one computer to another I can share things online I can add it to the Muse Exchange, which is Adobe's very own way of sharing things with one another. And uh, also, I've, I've gone kind of nuts with this, and I've created a bunch of things that I think might be worth sharing. So if you guys go to museresources.com, you'll see that I've got a MooLibs section, because these files are called .moolib files, M-U-L-I-B. Uh, so I've created this MooLib section of the website. You can see here, free Muse library files for download, new in Muse 7.0. I've created some forms for you guys. You can see a little demo, a little live demo, so that way you can decide whether or not you like it before you download it. And then if you do like it, there's a download button. It's totally free. And when you hit download, guess what? No funny business. Your download starts, goes into a folder here. I've got a little thank you for you guys, and then you just double click the MooLib file, and it jumps straight into the library in Muse, and then you can drop it into uh, any one of your websites just like that. And Some of these things are groups, but you can still go in and edit these. There's no difference between what I have created and what you guys can create in terms of how editable they are. So there's some neat stuff on here. There's some really neat stuff. There's this uh, text cycler, which is uh, a composition where uh, a quote or some text will cycle like a slideshow. Let me double click it and add it in there and drop it onto here. This one actually happens to have two items in it in the same download. Um, so if I go and drag single line text cycler, see it's a, it's a composition here where I can go and I could edit the text and I could say this is cool. And then when I go to view it in the browser, it is a functioning slideshow. And you can see here I've got these little pagination dots, but you can change these things to your heart's content. But it's pretty great, and I mean, I could change this, I could make it gray, I could make it uh, a different font, and if I really like that, then I can come right back over here and I could save another version of it to my library. So the library is going to be a massive time saver for people who find that they're doing uh, redundant work over and over again. It's going to save a ton of time. So keep at it and check out museresources.com and start downloading my stuff. So cool. All right, guys. Uh, I've got more stuff coming soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already.